so in today's video i'm going to be telling you guys why rabbit farmers prefer new zealand whites for meat production yeah welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across my channel please do all to subscribe turn on the bell notification and like this video if you are a rabbit farmer or if you are passionate about rabbit farming you can like this video so one of the, the major things about the new zealand white rabbit is that um you see rabbit farmers always having this particular breed of rabbit they say is the best breed for meat production and all rabbit farmers are always like this is one of the rabbits i want to keep so i'm going to be breaking down the few reasons why rabbit farmers do prefer this particular rabbit breed which is the new zealand white rabbit i want to be breaking down why rabbit farmers actually prefer this breed so one of the major reasons why rabbit farmers do prefer this new zealand rabbit for meat is that it matures very very fast yes new zealand white rabbit among those uh, the fast growing rabbit that mature very very fast and they can grow up to four kg so they are very very good for meat production because when we talk about meat production we are, we are looking for the kind of rabbit that will give us this particular meat within a short period of time yes we don't need a rabbit that will take a very long time before it reaches table size so we are looking for a breed of rabbit that will give us meat size before a short period of time so that is why many farmers actually go for the new zealand rabbit the number two reasons why rabbit farmers go for new zealand rabbit is that they give birth to very high liters yes new zealand rabbit give birth to a lot of liters like a lot of kids they give birth to a lot of kids at one time like in a, in a period when they want to kindle they can give birth to from six up to 15 kids but i have seen the new zealand rabbit giving birth to 12 kids that's the highest i have seen but i hear it give birth to up to 15 kids but some of the other breeds like the Fleming giant which people say is the biggest can give you a minimum of like maximum of like three to four to five kids yes not really many so that one is another advantage which this particular new zealand rabbit has it give birth to a lot of kids as you all know the number of kids your rabbit give birth to can also determine how much you can actually make out of it yes because if you if you end up giving birth to two kids you end up selling two kids but if you give birth to up to like five six seven and above that's how many you are going to be selling and make up your money so another thing also why farmers do prefer the new zealand rabbit is that the new zealand rabbit has a very very good meat to bone ratio yes the meat to bone ratio of this particular rabbit breed is very very good yes people people know that then it has a very good meat to bone ratio because the meat in this particular rabbit cannot be compared to some other breeds which are also fast growing too like it so that is also one of the major reasons why people prefer it because it's fast growing it has a lot of meat to bone ratio this particular breed of rabbit is one of the best for meat production from what you guys have also, I always heard you have, you have always been hearing new zealand white new zealand white so those are one of the uh, the few major reasons why people prefer this particular rabbit and also this particular new zealand rabbit is also very very disease resistant yes it's also very very disease resistant unlike some other breeds that are very very easy to get disease this particular new zealand rabbit also has a very very high disease resistance yes so that's why you see many farmers do prefer it keeping it in their farm and breeding it and also another thing is that with a very little quantity of feed they can grow they can grow sorry one of my rabbits is trying to make a nest so that's why you're hearing that noise um with a very very little quantity of feed they can grow to very high like to very very big size yes they can grow to very very big size with a very very little quantity of feed this particular rabbit breed as you can see this particular one is one of my um box it's very very big it's about a year old now so I decided to just use it to show you guys normally i know some people ask how do we know this particular new zealand rabbit there is a breed we have here in nigeria which is called the hyla so the hyla is always very similar to this particular breed of rabbit yes the hyla is always um, similar to this particular breed of rabbit the hyla is a cross breed between the california whites and the new zealand whites so it's always some of the hyla ng sometimes you hear people saying the hyla ng 
the Hyla NG are the highlights that look same as the New Zealand. Then the Hyla Max are the highlights that look like the California. Yes, some of those highlights you see them having a, a brown nose. I'll keep a picture on the screen so that you can actually see. So that is how the highlight came about. Although how to differentiate between the Highland and the New Zealand white is very very hard. Yes, but I'll still make more research and tell you guys how to actually differentiate this particular breed because you really need to know how to differentiate this breed. I know some of those few things that you can actually use to differentiate a breed like the head and the ear and the back and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll be making a comprehensive video telling you guys everything you need to know on how to differentiate between the Hyla rabbit and the New Zealand white. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you did find this video helpful, please do well to give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe if you are here to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that when I post another interesting video on rabbit farming, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you once again, guys, and do have a wonderful day. And until next time, peace out.